And in contrast to the way you typically see the Home Depot stuff packaged, I don't really get, is this very fine, fine tight packaging job here from this seller on eBay. And I like this, uh, this is definitely like some kind of recycled box. It's like they put it through some kind of special shredder and it makes this really nice packing material. I mean, that's just how you do it, guys. I mean, bundled all these together. I mean, that's just the way you do it. Take notes, Home Depot, take notes. Anyways, packaging aside, um, I bought another lot of kind of secondhand. Uh, again, they seem to be like, it's from the same seller as, as some of the other ones. Um, it seems to be like secondhand warranty repairs. They're all in, in almost like new condition, so it seems like maybe they were. I want to say warranty repairs is, is what makes sense to me because they're, I mean, they seem like they're almost new and it's like they didn't work out of the package and the factory returned them and sent them off to someone for, I don't know, like I said, that's all I can figure because they seem almost like new and they're being sold pretty cheap. Yeah, this one's got a couple scratches and stuff on it, but all of them seem like they're, you know, probably failed pretty early on without much use. Anyways, so it was a lot. It was a really good deal. I won, a, won an auction on it. Um, there's only a, a couple things in here I'm going to be keeping, then the rest I'm going to resell. Um, hopefully, anyways. Uh, this is a combustion check head. It is missing... Um, it's missing quite a few of the critical components for it. Uh, they also don't support the combustion... this tool anymore. Uh, so if you don't have the parts, you're kind of you know the the pump and the filter and all, and all the stuff that comes with this, it's discontinued. So you can't buy it new. There might be some place that has new old stock or whatever, but you'd be hard pressed. Um, so if I find that it, if I feel a combustion check analyzer is necessary, I'll probably buy a standalone one. Um, either what would be at the field piece or some other brand, you know. Uh, probably not something I'm going to need terribly often anyways. So uh, this is another dual temperature head. I have one of these. Um, so this is just going to be resold. This is a pretty universally useful. I don't think I'll have trouble finding a good buyer for that. Uh, I can uh, think what I pay for this lot about 50 bucks. I think I think it was about 50 bucks for shipping. So. I mean, I'm I'm almost sure I can get at least 25 for this, and you know, I, I'm I'm pretty sure I can get what I want out of here for free, essentially, and maybe even make a couple bucks. So, a uh, psychrometer head. I have a standalone psychrometer, which is actually right here. Um, so I figured I would go ahead and streamline my operation and get this, since I'm getting the, the accessory heads anyhow, and I don't really need two psychrometers. I might hold on to it, you know, just because, but. Uh, this is a Subco one. It's been been good. You know, I've never had any issues with it. It's, uh, it's accurate and stuff like that. But uh, I don't really need two, I think. And you know, smaller eh, overall. This is a little skinnier at the at the top, anyways. But it's gonna just streamline the operation to have everything. If we got a psychrometer, I will check it against that. And if this one is, oh, it's got a nice little cap on there too. That's very cool. Um, if this one's like horrendously not accurate or something, then I guess. I mean, but I doubt that's the case. So, uh, so that's definitely something we'll be keeping, um, not reselling. So we'll be keeping that. And the next one I'm definitely gonna be keeping is this uh, carbon monoxide accessory head, um, just for detecting. You know, it's pretty simple. Just parts per million. Uh, and this one doesn't isn't missing any components. This one is just a standalone unit like this, and I believe you can get replacement uh, elements or filters or whatever it is sensors uh, for this still. So that's a that's a keeper. Um, so I'm gonna keep these two, and then I'm probably gonna keep this extra electronic handle. I already got one extra one and resold it, um, but I kind of after doing that I I thought like oh I probably even gonna want oh, this one even has a battery in it. I'm uh, probably going to want more than one, um, just again on the off chance that you need two devices at once kind of thing. 
And the idea of these is you can always plug it on the top of your stick meter too, but uh, what if you needed your stick meter and two devices or, again, working with an apprentice or something like that, you could give us, uh, make a standalone tool for him and hand it to him and then you can still have one. So um, that's where I'm at with that. I will... Uh, probably just going to test this against against this. I don't I don't know if I'll necessarily do a video on that, but I just want to make sure that it's at least reading the same as this one because I, I know this one to be pretty accurate. So, um, and if that's the case, then I'm going to sell this. I got the case for it. I've taken good care of it. I'm sure I can uh, can get a good resale price for that on Flea Bay as well. So, that's the uh, some more accessory heads, and you know I'm a little bit undecided on this. I guess if if I've you know, I'm going to list it for sale, and if I come across the accessories somehow for a reasonable price before I sell this, I might might take my chances on it, but I kind of doubt it. This is this will be an easy sell for sure, I think. I'm also selling my ST4, my standalone dual temperature unit, because it's just, again, not necessary. So, all right, that's that. Uh, more field piece heads. Yeah, flash kind of wiping it out. All right. Um, so you can see here, we got these two side by side. I can get, the, get them right next to each other, probe wise. And you can see there is some. There's definitely some obvious advantages to the Supco one here. Um, obviously, you can get. In this case, you can get the temperature display and the relative humidity at the same time, and you can you know play around with that. You got your Fahrenheit and Celsius, and then dew point Fahrenheit and Celsius, and then wet bulb Fahrenheit and Celsius, and all the while it keeps the relative humidity displayed. So, uh, whereas on here you get one one readout at a time, and that's not going to matter. Whatever you plug it into, whether it's a handle or a stick meter, you're only going to be able to measure one at a time. So, you know, that's a. This is backlit also. Hold down that button, you get a backlight. So, not bad, not bad. Um, anyways, and obviously you get a little more definition as well. You're only getting uh, tenths here, whereas you're getting hundreds here on any given reading. So, but again, this is going to be close enough for what I do. Uh, you can see uh, we got the uh, the wrong range here now. Go with dry bulb. You know, pretty accurate within half a degree, give or take. Relative humidity, we'll check that, or we'll go to wet bulb temperature. So a little wet bulb here. Hmm. You know, again, same thing within a half a degree or so. Um, is that right? Let's see here. No, we're getting quite a ways off actually on that. Hmm. Yeah, and the wet bulb temperature we're getting. Yeah, it's kind of jumping all over the place. Um, this one is probably taking a little bit more of an average, whereas this one's always real time. So it's probably in the grand scheme of things, they're pretty close in accuracy as well. Let's check out dew point, Fahrenheit dew point. And same here. Yeah, you know, we're seeing we're seeing a little bit of a discrepancy there for sure. Actually, it's not too bad. Just had to, this one takes a little bit longer to warm up. I suppose being a little impatient, I guess. That's within a half a degree on that. That's the wet bulb. And the relative humidity was looking good too. 
Oh no, that's still off. Hmm. Yeah, a little finicky. Dew point. Yeah, so it is, um, let's see here, is the accuracy they're claiming and stuff like that. Let's see, what are we on? Dew point. Well, anyhow, like I said, that's probably close enough, or uh, close enough that there's probably not anything wrong with this, other than it's just a little, uh, it's a little less accurate, and um, it's probably just the reality of it, just not as uh, refined, and it's uh, it definitely takes a minute to warm up, or a minute longer, anyways. Have you heard the expression room temperature? Of course. This is the room. <laughs>